So what are the trends of the future? <laughs> well, we're going to be talking a lot about the connected life and the next generation of networks called 5G. And this is, is as Tim Cook was just saying, this is going to transform the way we work, the way we live, and the way we play for the next generation even more than we have in the last 10. So it's 100 times faster than speeds we have now, right? What does that mean? What's possible? Uh, there's no lag time. And so if a car is going 60 miles an hour down the highway in a 4G network, it would stop in 4.6 feet. Under a 5G scenario, that same 60 mile an hour car would stop in an inch. So it really does let you do autonomous cars and m remote surgeries, all kinds of things with these new networks. We are expecting three new iPhones to be unveiled tomorrow. The Samsung Note 8 is you know, breaking pre-sale records. What does that mean for the industry? Uh, it's so exciting how all of this innovation is happening here in the United States and what the app companies that are all here in San Francisco, how they actually are changing our lives and the things that they are going to be able to do and bring us in this next generation of 5G networks is really incredible. When it comes to 5G, are any of the service providers ahead of one another? I mean, I know they're all trying to mark their territory, but is anyone you know, farther ahead than the rest? This is a global race to 5G. We won the race in 4G, and that's why all the innovation happens here in the United States. We've got 30 trials here in the United States, but China's got 100 trials going on this year. Uh, Japan and Korea are really racing to get it done for their Olympic commitments. Uh, we know that leaders of the various wireless companies met with uh, the Trump administration earlier this year. What can the government do to compel the shift to 5G? These new networks are more about um, antennas that are the size of a shoebox or a pizza box as opposed to a 200-foot tower. So we need new rules for these new networks. We're going to have to put 300 new site, 300,000 new sites up over the next few years. That's twice as many as we've done in the entire industry existing. So what does the U.S. have to do to be more competitive? Um, we need to change our infrastructure rules so that we can roll these sites out faster at more affordable cost. And um, we need more spectrum. We're always going to need more new spectrum as America's dying to have more and more mobile devices. We're going to need more spectrum.